Hi everyone, welcome back to All 4 Overland and episode 5 of Overland Garage. First thing we've got to do guys, we've got to put these on. This is going to be fun, because they don't fit. Well they almost fit. Um, that Lining up the hole there, there's, there's a bolt going to be dropped in here. Um, this edge is too high, this top edge. So what I think I'm going to do, cut a V in that and just bend that over and then weld that back up. Uh, cut these bottom straps off and put new ones on. And it should go on, should be fairly straightforward really. Just a bit fiddly. Stay. Like I was just saying, this isn't too bad. I'm literally just going to cut that V out. Don't know if you can see those scribe marks in that, but uh, just so I can roll this top edge out because it sits a bit too high. Helps if you plug the grinder in, doesn't it? Helps if you turn the extension lead on as well. Okay, that's just not working. Don't know what was wrong with that, it's just started working again. Like that. And just put that in the vise and crimp it down. There you go. Just crimped over in the vise. And now that profile's changed completely. That should fit. That is much better. So now I need to cut a piece across there to alter the angle so it rolls backwards. Now these are going to fit perfectly. Well I don't believe that, that actually fits perfectly. Um, I have to have taken any more off it and I can weld that, no problem at all. Uh, heavy pass across the top. There's a bit of a gap here, but that's just going to take two passes to fill that. Weld the strap on there. Weld the strap there. Run a pass down there, in there, fill that. Fits back in the bolt hole. You know, straight through to the radius arm mount. Look at that. I'm going to get the other side ready and then I'm going to burn them in.
yes, that is the bulk of the welding done. What a behemoth of a chassis. This is now huge. Um, yeah, I can now work out where everything's going. Now that rear body mounts in, I know that the, the tub, um, so the back of the cab is going to sit about 115 mil um, from the edge of this mount. So the back of the cab is going to be here. So my tray can come to sort of there. So my tray is going to be, you know, 15 inches bigger than it is now, which is going to make the world of difference. So what have I got left to do on this? There's got to go uprights for the tray itself. So there'll be definitely one there, um, one there, probably one at the back, probably put six in, maybe eight, not sure. See how it goes. Because uh, I want to build a new tray or modify the tray that we've got and put a, a, a draw system, you know, did they call it a trundle tray, a trundle draw in the back. So it's got a built in draw uh, for all the tools and the recovery equipment. So if you haven't got the canopy on, because now the canopy is demountable, I've got all my recovery equipment actually in the tray. So that's got to be built. Uh, the water tank's going back in here, so I've got to cut the tank out of the other one and remount it in here. Uh, it works quite it works quite well somewhere around here. We can put it in. Uh, while I'm welding the uprights, and it could even be attached to the uprights uh, on this end and just sit here. It, it's out of the way, and it keeps the centre of gravity low. And moving it this way will help with the weight because it is 70 kilos of water. But yeah, um, other than that, I've got to put a, there's a bracket got to go in for one of the brake pipes because there's no body tub. Uh, a fuel tank, the fuel tank strap's still got to be welded up. Ted's here. Hiya, Ted. What do you want to know, Ted? Oh, watch yourself on that, it's still warm. So uh, yeah, still a lot of work, but we're definitely getting there. So. I think the next bit is pull some bit, bits off the truck. What do you reckon, Ted? No? He's not impressed. A momentous day has been reached. I have finished the welding on the chassis. Um, yeah, it's all done. I can't believe it. It's been three weeks of utter joy. But uh, yeah, it's all done. We've got six uprights. These are 50 by 50 3 mil box, um, and that's a 50 by 50 angle that the beam fits in. And I have got an off cut somewhere to show you how it's going to go. Hang on. So it's going to fit in like that and then be bolted through. I think the bottom rail, well, actually, I don't know what the bottom rail is going to be made of yet because I'm not sure if it's going to be aluminium or steel. I really haven't decided what I'm going to make the canopy, the, the tray out of, because the canopy is obviously aluminium. But uh, for now, this can go to be shot blasted and galvied. So later on today, we're going to get this on the trailer. And then on Monday, because it's Saturday today, I'm going to drop this off first thing in the morning at the shot blasters. So you can see me dropping that off and them going, oh, we've got to get this off the trailer. But yeah, I can't believe it. It's all done. It's great. The uh, water tank bracket's in, as you can see. That's me. Uh, uh, the water tank goes in there, gets clamped down. Uh, that's I cut that out of the truck yesterday. I would have filmed it, but it was raining. So I just went outside lay in the rain with an extension lead. Winner. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna, we're going to just double check all the measurements on this now. Make sure nothing else needs welding or touching up or grinding and uh, get this loaded on the trailer. Before we start getting the chassis ready to go on the trailer, just a little side note, these legs work that well. Uh, I've been able to put the roof tent back on. Uh, me and my lad yesterday wanted to see how much weight these would take and how they would work. Um, well, we've, that's bolted back on, it's fixed. So I'm actually gonna put all the stuff back on the canopy because uh, these easily lift the weight, no issues at all. So literally this is a fully demountable 
unit now so I don't need to take it apart ever again I just need to because I've only got to lift it that high like what 50 60 centimeters it's a bit awkward here because the ground isn't level it, it undulates because I've had trucks parked here before so it's all pitted and what's it but on level ground if you can lift it 40 mil I can drive out straight from under it so uh, I'm literally gonna just put this all back together and just keep it as a as a completely self-contained unit and there'll just be Anderson plug and um, solar panel leads that's it well not this end because that goes up there but that Anderson plug goes to the batteries and that just needs unplugging and then this is demountable so proper working demountable stop it how much more can you ask for it's like awesome so it's all going together really well guys except I've just got to strip the rest of this truck off and get this cab off and put it on the new chassis now we know it's definitely getting somewhere it's on the trailer guys uh, I forgot to film it it's <laughs> loading it on uh, we my brother turned up and my lads and what's it and uh, we got it on the trailer and I forgot to film it but I am celebrating with a very large beer so now I've got space I'm actually just going to paint the garage floor but uh, yeah like I say it's on the trailer have a look so it's back where it came from all those weeks ago what four four or five weeks ago it's back on the trailer but now it's going to be shot blasted like I said it's going going after the shot blasters I'll try get some footage down at the shot blasters so uh, I guess the next bit will be me dropping this off at the shot blasters well today's the day this uh, behemoth of a chassis goes away out of my life for at least the next couple of weeks but I've got to get it out of the yard and I'm here on my own now the problem I've got is I tend to problem it's a problem with everything getting out of here is it doesn't make the gate <laughs> the trailer if I hook the trailer up to the van I'm not going to make the corner so I've got to pull it all out by hand so I can park the van on the drive and then pull the trailer out by hand Joy. it's nothing easy I mean really nothing's easy so uh, let's get this to the shot blasters That's what I mean. It's bloody heavy. I did it. It's on and I'm now knackered. Like I said, it's bloody heavy. Right, this way. Let's go. Keys. Right, I've made it to the shop blasters. Uh, D and N shot blasting there, just about to go into the gates. See if they can give me hand unload this. Once I've agreed a price with them. Here it goes. I'll get it. That's the way you do it, isn't it, guys? None, none of this mauling. So if you need anything shot blasting, guys, have a word with this place. They're good lads. I 
made it back and now it's time to play with Teddy because I've been out. Come here Ted. Come here Ted. Every time, I have to come back and play with him. Right, let's get some more work done. We're back at uh, D&M Blasting and uh, we're just waiting to get the chassis out. I didn't bother ringing him up, hang on. I didn't bother ringing him up and it's sort of wedged in place. So they've got to move some stuff around so it's going to be about half an hour. Typically, I should have rung them up. But uh, I'll explain why I didn't ring them up in a bit. But uh, just have a look at this Mini. This is someone else's project, obviously. But uh, I was just having a look how many panels they've had to replace on it. That way in the wing, A panel, sail, outer wing. Well, the whole rear panel which is like, would be the quarters on a normal car, but it's all one piece. Uh, boot floor, inner wings. It's easier to go through what's original, which will be that piece. And that piece. Oh, and this bit up here. Man, there's not much left of that of the original car, is there really? And I take it they're gonna have to put a roof on as well once it's been blasted. That's why I would never do a Mini. You might as well just order one in kit form. Wow, that's a lot of work. But yeah, we're just waiting a bit for them to get it out for us. Like I said, the good lads here. I'll put a link in the description below uh, for... Um, you know, if you want any shot blasting doing in the Cheshire, Staffordshire area, these are the guys to come to. And I'll give you another look at the sign again. There you go guys, look at that. There's a lot of bits in the way between even now. No, it'll be fine. We can't actually go round there to have a look at this because it's a closed area, but we'll get a look from here. Like I said before guys, these are the people to come to. And they do do a really good job. It's going to be amazing. Definitely going to be a one-off. Well, we've just made an executive decision. Well, Lloyd has him there. It's Lloyd's fault. He says we're just going to take it straight to the Galvias. No. He did. He said take it straight to the Galvias. No. What, did, what did he say, Lloyd? I said go home. He didn't, he said take it straight to the Galvias. It actually looks really good guys, there's nothing needs doing to this now. Except basically pickling 
and galvian it looks pretty good so uh, this job is definitely coming along quicker than i thought but look how good that looks compared to what it was when we picked it up this surface rust here not bothered about that they'll sort that out when it gets galvied it'll get pickled out so uh, yeah there you go to the galvias with you right guys we've uh, got it to the galvias so we're at stoke galvian stoke galvian limited i'll uh, can i zoom in with this camera i don't think i can but i'll put a link in the description to in below for that as well so uh yeah we're dropping this off we'll probably see it in a week's time so take one last look at it looks pretty good to me should look even better well there you go guys the chassis has now been dropped off for galvian uh, it's going to be about two weeks they said uh, they can't get it usually they do them on a sunday they can't do it this sunday coming so it'll be the sunday after so i've got two weeks now where uh I've got nothing to do really, but I will tell you what's uh, going on when we get back to the workshop. Hey, that's good, isn't it? We've got the chassis off at the Galvias. That's a big leap forward, like I was just saying. And uh, we're not going to see that for two weeks, which is great for me because uh, what I was saying before about I'll tell you what's going on, I've knackered me back. Um, I'm not sure what I've done. Uh, I don't even know how I've done it, but uh, it's trapped a load of nerves. It's given me sciatica down my leg. It's really painful, guys. Um, driving over to the Galvia has nearly killed me. I'm not kidding. It really it nearly killed me. But uh, a couple of weeks break from working on stuff is probably going to do me a whole lot of good. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad it's gone to the Galvia's. But uh, yeah, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So uh, if you've enjoyed it, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment in the, the box below and uh, check out our new merch store. And I'll uh, see you on the next one.